Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am Coding Bug and in this tutorial, we will learn how to create this mic animation using just HTML and CSS. So let's get started. Here we have a div element with the class attribute set to mic. Inside the mic div, here we create i element with the class attribute set to mic icon. Within the same mic div, here we create another div element with the class attribute set to mic shadow. Now let's get CSS. Let's tell the body element. Here we set the overflow to hidden. Background is set to dark purple color. Next we set the background to create a radial gradient background. Transitioning from the dark purple color at the center. to a slightly purple color at the edges. Now let's tell the mic element. Here we set the position to absolute. Top and left is set to 50%. So that is center the mic element both vertically and horizontally. Transform is set to translate minus 50% and minus 50%. And the color is set to white. Now let's set shadow element. Here we set the content to an empty content into the shadow element. Position is set to absolute. Top and left is set to 50%. Transform is set to translate. Minus 50% and minus 50%. Border radius is set to 100% so that it makes the shadow element circular. Z index is set to 2 so that it positions the shadow element above the mic element. And here we apply a box shadow to the shadow element creating a shadow effect. Now let's set before shadow element. Here width and height is set to 400 pixel so that it makes a large circle and the background color is set to dark purple color. Now let's set after shadow element. Here width and height is set to 250 pixel. Background color is set to dark shade of purple. And animation is set to circle size 0.8 second linear infinite alternate so that the animation alternate between two states to circulate to create a uh, pulsing effect. Now let's style the element with the class mic icon. Here box sizing is set to border box, position is set to absolute, top and left is set to 50%, transform is set to transit minus 50% and minus 50% and the scale is set to 5. So that make it larger. Display is set to block. 
width is set to 16 pixel height is set to 12 pixel so that is set the dimension of the icon border button left radius is set to 120 pixel and border button right radius is set to 120 pixel so that it gives the border part of the icon a rounded appearance next border is set to 2 pixel solid border top is set to 0 so that it adds the 2 pixel solid border to the icon except for the top border which is set to 0 pixel next margin top is set to 20 pixel and the z index is set to 3 so that it set the staging order of the icon Now let's set before and after sheet element. Here content is set to an empty string. Display is set to block. Box sizing is set to border box. And the position is set to absolute. Now let's set before sheet element. Here width is set to 2 pixel. Height is set to 5 pixels so they set the dimension of the sheet element to a thin 2 pixel in white and 5 pixel in height. Top is set to cal 100% plus 1 pixel. So they position the sheet element just below the mic icon. Left is set to 50%. Transform is set to translate minus 50% and 0. So that it moves the sheet element 50% to the left to center it. And the background color is set to white. Now let's set after sheet element. Here border is set to 2 pixels solid. Width is set to 8 pixel and the height is set to 18 pixel. Next, left is set to 50% so that it center horizontally center the shadow element. Top is set to minus 10 pixel so that it position the shadow element 10 pixel. Border radius is set to 4 pixel so it gives the shadow element rounded corner with a 4 pixel radius. And the transform is set to translate minus 50% and 0. Now let's try the element with the class Mic Shadow. Here width and height is set to 400 pixel. So it make a large circular element. Position is set to absolute. Top and left is set to 50% so they center the Mic Shadow element both vertically and horizontally. Border radius is set to 100%. Z index is set to 1 so that it set the stacking order of the mic shadow. And the box shadow is here we set the box shadow to multiple box shadow, creating a multi layer shadow effect with different colors and position.
Next we have an animation that is set to shadow rotate 1.5 second linear infinite so that make it continuously rotate Next we set the transform origin to center Now let's set keyframe The from is set to width 250 pixel and height 250 pixel Here it specify the starting state of the animation, it set the width and the height of the target element to 250 pixel by 250 pixel. Next 2 is set to width and height 300 pixel. So it specify the ending state of the animation. Next animation is about shadow rotate. Here from is set to Transform translate minus fifty percent and minus fifty percent and rotate is set to zero degree and two here specify the ending state of the animation. It gradually rotates the element three sixty degree while keeping it center. So that's it for today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more web development tutorials.